All right, guys, so in this week's episode of my Friday Thrift Find series, we're not talking about savers, and we're not talking about the Goodwill, but we're talking about a completely different, new to me thrift store. Um, I'd never gone to it before. It's up in the Boston area, so let's roll that intro and talk a little bit about that and then show you everything that I got at that store. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived at my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. So if you're into reseller content, thrift hauls, uh, thread up unboxings, what sold videos, I do have a little bit of travel content mixed in because that's what I use my reselling income for. I do have a full-time job. Um, so if you're into any of that stuff, please consider subscribing. I'd love to have you. Anyway, we're talking about a new thrift store than my usual. Usually it's a haul from Savers. That's what's most common in my area. I don't really like the Goodwill. Um, on occasion, I will hit a Goodwill, but usually it is an outlet location, so the Goodwill bins. This store is in Cambridge, Massachusetts, up by Harvard, MIT, that kind of area, so they do get a lot of university students. I went on a Sunday because I knew that parking was going to be a nightmare. It is metered parking on the street, um, so that can be a little bit difficult sometimes, and on Sundays, you don't have to pay for the meter. So we went up on Sunday before Labor Day, so during Labor Day weekend. Um, I will preface this by saying that everything in this haul cost me a whopping $7.50 because a few uh, months ago, actually, at this point, my friend and local reseller, Lori Tata, she is Lori Tata here on YouTube, and her Instagram is Lori's Boston Found. She goes to this location quite a bit, and she had a giveaway on her Instagram, and I happened to win. I didn't think I was going to win, but I did, and I got a free $100 gift card to this store. It's called The Garment District. Um, so I spent that. I did go a little bit over, so that's why I paid the $7.50. Um, but yeah, they do have a, <clears throat> excuse me, a by the pound area, which is on the main floor when you first walk in. It's literally just a massive pile of clothing. I will insert some footage right here for you to watch. Uh, okay. So what I understand is that every morning they open several giant trash bags of clothing and put it in this one area and everything is $2 a pound. So um, it was pretty empty when we went. We went like a few minutes before they opened, which was I think 11 o'clock on a Sunday. And we were really the only people in there at that time, but then it started to get really busy. But basically everyone is just sitting in piles of used clothing on the floor and sorting through stuff. So if you're not into that, uh, if you can be a little bit squeamish about that type of stuff, no judgment, um, but that's not the area that you wanna go. Um, but they do have an upstairs, which is a highly curated regular thrift store. Um, be prepared to pay up for stuff. Uh, they had like a graphic tee section um, and tees ranged from, you know, 22 to $30. So it's definitely higher than, you know, your local thrift store pricing. Um, and that's how I ended up paying a little bit more than what I had on the gift card. In the buy the pound section, I got like 
12 pounds and change, so I paid a little over 25.60 for most of the stuff. Well, I didn't pay anything because I had a gift card, but it would have cost me $25 and I think like 60 cents um, for all the stuff I got down there. And then I bought a few things up on the other floor. Uh, my daughter also got a hat, which I'm not including in that. So $7.50 for all this stuff. I'm fine with that. Um, but yeah, be prepared to pay up if you're going upstairs into the regular thrift store section. I did find a pair of Allbirds. If I can remember when I edit, I'll put in that footage. I think I got some and they were like $22, something like that. Um, not what I would pay for them at all. Uh, I didn't end up picking them up. I didn't pick up any shoes. Everything is all clothing, um, but just keep that in mind if you decide to make the trip up there. So this bag contains everything that I got there. Uh, you get one of these when you go to the buy the pound section on the main floor and then you just pop it onto the scale and they tell you what you owe. So let's dig in. I think my daughter got like two pieces from here she was totally not into it she prefers to go to a regular thrift store and you know sort through the racks not step on or sit on a pile of sometimes they can be gross clothing and sort through them so she kind of just sat there for a little bit we were really weren't in there for any length of time maybe an hour total um if that and so she kind of just sat there with her music so she only got a couple things and basically everything was everything else was stuff that i picked up to resell Man, I can't talk. Um, so this first one is Harry Potter, size large. I love Harry Potter um, and some of their stuff does sell for me. I just sold one in a bundle last week. This one says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good um, from the Marauder's Map, if you're familiar with Harry Potter. A lot of these items, by the way, are things that I probably wouldn't pick up in a normal thrift store, um, just like a bins type of by the pound store. Um, this is Zara. It seems to be new without tags. It does have like the little thing here, but the tag isn't actually on it. It's a size medium. Here's the Zara tag. And this is a very cropped wrap. Um, it's like a corally pink color. Um, there was a young man in that thrift store. I'm assuming he was a college age student and he found a Christian Dior blazer. Um, so that was really cool. And um, my friend of mine that went, um, he does a little bit of reselling on the side. Um, I, I just wanted him to drive because I don't like driving in the city. Um, so he drove, um, but he found some Armani Collezioni um, and some other like really nice brands in one section. So he kind of stayed in that one section. I didn't find anything crazy good, but I did find a couple things that I really loved. Anyway, this is Hollister um, Military Field Vintage. Uh, it's a size large. It definitely doesn't look like a size large. Um, I don't know if this is actually vintage or just like a remake, but it is a velour full zip hoodie in like this tan camely color. Perfect Y2K vibe for this, so I will probably put this up on my Depop as well. Um, this brand is very popular in this area. I think it's made in Maine, I'm pretty sure, so we often find it. Um, when I go to the Goodwill bins, which is in New Hampshire, this is LL Bean. Um, I picked it up because of the size. It's a 2X and it's also new with tags, 100% Supima cotton made in Peru. This is a women's shirt. The original price was $29.95. It's the elbow sleeve scoop. Just a solid blue tee. It even still has the sticker on it. So again, size and new with tags, decided to pick it up. Q4 is approaching. This is also new with tags. This is a kid's item, which I don't typically pick up, but I thought this was fun. The MSRP is $20. It's a size six and it's a collab with Lego and Levi's. It's very tiny and adorable. Um, 
just a white tee with the uh, Levi's logo in the middle and it has some Lego bricks. Uh, this is a perfect example of something I would not pick up unless it was in a bins situation. This is Silence and Noise, which is an Urban Outfitters brand, and this is an extra small. It's a gray, like cropped swing style tank. These are good for my mystery boxes, which I am still selling um, very occasionally on my Poshmark. This is the only pair of jeans that I got from the by the pound. I did get a few in the thrift store. These are DL 1961, um, the Jerry High Rise Vintage Straight in a size 31. I'm trying not to pick up skinnies as often, um, but a good vintage straight I will pick up. This is Mod Cloth, which doesn't do super well for me unless it's like a really fun novelty print, but I had never found bottoms from this brand before. So for $2 a pound, I decided to try it out. This is um, Mod Cloth size six. And these are like a high-waisted button fly, exposed button fly denim short. I know we're getting to the end of summer here, but I still picked those up. Um, and the $2 price is also, I think, what the Goodwill bins charges now. They used to be, I think, $1.69 a pound. And then after COVID, they increased to $2. I haven't been there since, but um, it's pretty much equivalent to bins pricing for me. This is a great outdoor brand. This is cool size medium there is some cracking like on the brand label but that's totally fine and this is just a basic purple tee with a little button detail here this is from altered state it's been quite a while since i picked this up i don't think i've picked up this brand since February of 2020 when I went on a solo trip to Austin and I went to the bins there. This is a size medium and this is like a button down or button up actually uh, chambray blouse. It did have this fun detail on the back though um, where they kind of cinch it in and there are more buttons there on the back. Um, this I picked up because it was in like new condition this is polo by ralph lauren size medium and this is like a cobalt blue polo as the name implies um i don't really pick up fast fashion too often uh, but this looked kind of cute this is asos um, asos design size us4 and this is like a slight turtleneck kind of crop length sweater and it did have these fun kind of slight bubble sleeves. This again I picked up because it's new with tags, not a brand I typically sell. BCBG Max Azria. It doesn't have the original price, there's a sticker over it, uh, but this is apparently the Sydney dress. I'm sure the retail price was expensive <laughs> because it's BCBG even though the resale really isn't there. Um, but I may actually send this into thread up. It's going to be impossible for me to show, but this is a black full length maxi dress. Um, it does have like some eyelets here. If you could see, you can kind of see me behind it. Thought that was fun. This is, I believe the only free people item I found. This is size 12. I don't often see like numerical sizes on Free people items and their skirts don't honestly do great for me, but here we are, <laughs> $2 a pound. I couldn't say no. This is another Urban Outfitters piece, BDG. That's one of their house brands. This is a size small and this is a denim mini skirt. Might also be a thing that I send over to thread up. This I found towards the end and I was really happy to find this because this is a 2X, so a wonderful size. This is Eileen Fisher. I love my girl Eileen. This is like an olive green tee. It's very soft. Let's see what material it is. Oh, 
I can't tell you because it's cut out, but I'm sure it will sell no problem. I've been really picky with anthropology brands, um, but in a bin setting, I often pick them up. I'll throw them in a mystery box or sometimes people will bundle them. This is TLA size small. This is also really soft. It's just a gray little pocket tee. This I found at the same time as the Eileen. You won't really be able to see it because it's covered by the dry cleaning tag. Let me just move it over. Um, this is Kate Spade, New York. It is a size, I'm not sure, I don't see it there. I will look inside in a second. And it is a white sleeveless top. It didn't look like it had any stains. I'm still gonna throw it in the wash wash just to like freshen it up a little bit um i don't see the size in here either but it is viscose and nylon so i will just do some measurements that's no problem this is j crew the collector t size small again a brand i don't typically pick up in a thrift store unless it's really new um, and new with tags or cashmere. I did pick up a cashmere, red cashmere sweater earlier this year and it sold around Valentine's Day. This one is from spring of 2020. More Urban Outfitters. Uh, this is a size, is it on there? Large, it doesn't look large, um, but this is the Out From Underline. And this is a little, very cropped wrap, kind of like a lightweight cardigan. This is one of the few men's items that I picked up. This is Wrangler, and this is a like Western plaid pearl snap. I don't think it's vintage, um, and this is a size large. Actually, that could be women's, because I think it snaps on the opposite side. This um i don't haven't found in a while this is alpha elite and when i found them in the pit that's what they call the by the pound section um they were inside out <laughs> so i just happened to notice they don't have i was i thought i saw a hole but it's not they don't have the size which i know is breaking my rule but they do have let me see the little lines like uh lululemon does on some of their seamless styles. So I will see if there's a way to figure that out based on those. If not, I will measure them. This, I do have to stain treat, but this was the first time that I've ever found this brand and I've heard it does really well. So if you have experience with it, please let me know. This is Faraday, size medium. And this is a short sleeve button down because the collar button's down. It's not buttoned right now, but here is a close up of the print. But it does have a little bit of um, like under underarm stains, so I'm going to try to stain treat that and then list. This I might keep for myself, I haven't tried it on yet, um, but we'll see. This is Angie size large. I do like their dresses, they make a lot of like boho styles. Um, Here's what the top looks like. It is a black floral print, which I love, and it is a maxi length. This pile is getting huge over here, but we're almost done. Uh, this is Bowden, size four. I haven't picked up Bowden in quite a while. My thrifts like to price it up, and it just doesn't do great for me. Um, this feels like linen. It's a, it's a very bright coral color, but I think I checked, and it's not oh maybe it is yep 100% linen I was wrong I second guessed myself um this is a sports bra from Victoria's Secret again something I probably wouldn't pick up in just a normal savers or goodwill but I mean this probably cost me based on weight like 50 cents <laughs> so um, this is Solomon. I know they make um, really good shoes. Um, I've never picked up their clothing. I just happened to see it and decided to try it out. This is a size small. And this is like a short sleeve dry fit material shirt. Great for running, cycling, anything like that. 
And that's everything that I got from down in the pit area. Now let's talk about the very few items <laughs> that I found in the regular retail store. So again, I paid $7.50 for everything that I'm going to show you because I had the $100 gift card. Um, I will tell you about how much all these things cost in the regular retail store. Um, I don't remember exactly because I already took off the tags, but just know that my entire cost was $7.50. So this is C New York, size two. I've never found this brand before. This was, I think, $33, $35, somewhere in that area. And this is like a surplus neckline romper. I love me a romper. I love the print on this. Um, this brand seems to do really well. Again, I don't have experience. So if you do, please let me know. I love when you guys tell me about, you know, your successes with brands that I'm picking up. This is Rayon and Viscose. Um, I got three pairs of jeans and that's all that I have left to show you and these range from 15 to $18 um, This is Everlane the super soft straight leg jean organic cotton size 28 I Haven't found Everlane jeans in a while. They are also a crop length with a little raw hem here I picked up a pair of Madewell jeans. These are the 10 inch road tripper size 30p so 30 petite i have no problem picking up petite sizes petite women or petite people in general need clothing too these are a skinny but i like the road tripper style i just sold a pair pretty recently um i think between 40 and 50 dollars and the last item i have to share with you are a pair of levi's these are the wedgie skinny in a size 29 they are Button fly, hidden button fly, like a faded black wash. Again, slightly cropped and raw hem. So, yeah, that's everything. Uh, I mean, granted, I had a gift card, so if I didn't have the gift card, I probably wouldn't have picked up any of these or this romper just based on the price because I like to stay five dollars and under and it's very rare for me to spend you know more than ten dollars on a single piece so i probably would have left all of that behind if it was at my normal store but because i had the gift card that kind of changed how i sourced a little bit also i'm not sure if i'll ever go back there um just because of the parking situation i don't like to drive in the city i don't want to have to worry while i'm shopping that i'll forget to go out and put more money in the meter or on the app whatever and then my car will get towed and i'll be stranded all the way in cambridge mass by myself so I wanted to use the gift card in full the first time just in case I just never make it back up there. Um, we did try to go to a Goodwill after, but it was closed on Sundays apparently. It was a really small Goodwill um, that was uh, down the street from this, uh, the Garment District store. But uh, for $25.60, like if I didn't have the gift card and I got this whole pile of clothing for under $26, I would have been happy with that. That's a good bins day for me. Um, what I will do behind the scenes but while I'm editing this video, I will take all the stuff that I got from the pit area for the 2560, count them up and divide that by that number, that amount. And I will tell you right here on the screen what the breakdown would have been per item for all of that stuff. Um, even though I paid zero dollars. So yeah, if you're local to that area, you know, the New England area, definitely check it out at least once just to see how it is. I mean, you can go down and look at the pit and see how it is um, without actually going in there if it's not your thing. So the upstairs, like I said, is very curated. Um, expect to pay a little bit more than you would normally, um, but especially so if you're shopping for yourself. They had a lot of really great items. Um, they're all categorized really well. Um, graphic tees, they had 80s, 90s tees, men's, women's, shoes, um, all kinds of different things. They had one whole circular rack of all like Hawaiian style button, uh, button up shirts. So that was really fun. Um, I personally like shopping at the bins, so I had no problem just 
plopping down on top of the clothing and you know kind of picking it around me in a circle uh, you guys would have seen the small amount of footage that I got there like I said it started to get really packed in there um, after you know like the first 20 minutes or so and we got there pretty much right when they opened um, when nobody else was in there so it was kind of hard to you know move around with everybody in there it was also incredibly hot in there they had one fan going but it just it wasn't doing anything so we didn't stay long my daughter was not into it so she was kind of off to the side and so I was trying to you know expedite the process of searching through things but if you like shopping at the bins you might be even more happy just you know being able to sort through piles of clothing without having to use the actual bins but your mileage may vary you might not like it you might love it you might want to keep going back but just know the parking is on street so parallel parking you have a meter so if you don't want to deal with the meter go on a sunday like i did they are open every single day of the year except i think two days and I think that's like Christmas Day and Thanksgiving or something like that. It's on their website, but literally they're only closed two times a year. So go check it out if you're local. Thank you so much to Lori for putting that giveaway together. Um, I still can't believe that I actually won that. So this is great for me. I have a lot of, you know, fresh inventory that cost me less than eight bucks for this whole stack of items. So I'm happy with that. I'm hoping that you know I can get some of these listed ASAP and start making some sales um, because sales on free items is always great. But anyway, I'm sorry that this was a little bit longer. Let me know what you thought of all the items that I picked up, if you've gone to the garment district and how you liked it. Um, if you go and check it out later because you watched this video, let me know. I would love to hear that. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to share with you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you, whether you watch my videos or not. Maybe you're just subscribed and you don't watch my videos at all. I still appreciate you. Um, but give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it at any point. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, guys.